Okay, to make the wax frosting, first we are going to mix equal parts of Eco Soya PB and Eco Soya 456. Okay, so now that our oil, our oil, so now that our wax is nice and melted, um, we're going to add the fragrance. Right now, the temperature is at 154, so I'm going to add my temperature here. I mean, my temperature. Sorry, I'm going to add my fragrance oil here. So this is PB in 646. And it says that you can add up to two ounces per pound. This is a pound, and I'm just going to add one and a half ounces. And we're going to stir this for two minutes. And then we're going to let it start to cool down. Once it starts to cool down, like when uh, you have the solidified uh, wax on the edges, you want to get that with your blender so that it can help the rest of it to solidify. I usually do not put my wax in the refrigerator to solidify faster. I just kind of let it take its own course in solidifying. Um, I will whip it a, a lot just so that it can start cooling down faster, but I won't put it in the refrigerator. So we're just gonna start this two minutes to incorporate the fragrance into the oil. Now you can use whatever fragrance is good for you. I'm using strawberry right now just for the sake of the video. And um, I had already made my melts, and I made the melts because this is not a melts video. It was to make the wax frost, and so I did that off camera. But if you would like to see how um, I make my wax melts and what which wax I use, I will um, do another video. Now I decided to do this video because when I was looking for wax frosting, I did not find people gave up their, you know, their their ratios of what they use in order to do it. So I've tried different things. I've tried just four, five, six. I've tried just PB. I've tried just the pillow wax. I've tried those things before and um, not that they don't work, but they don't work as well as this mixture here. And I just so happened to, when I was buying wax, find it on a website and somebody said they use the 50-50 ratio. So I was like, you know what, let me try it. And I've tried it and I've been doing this for years. So it's something that is very consistent to me. I also, um, what I also do is if I have first and left, I'll save it for a later date until I make that same, um, you know, wax melt or something or when I could use it again and I will melt it down and then I will, um, re-whip it and it still works exact same. So that's that i'm going to um take this off of here i'm gonna wax i mean wax it Ugh, can't speak i am going to whip it up a little bit and i am going to use let's see if i can get it in the shot so the blender that i'm using is just the hamilton beach blender that has immersion blender and it also have the whip attachment so I'm going to use that and I am going to just speed this video up so you can see the process. So I want to tell you that um, you don't have to worry about temperature at this point right now because all you're concerned about is it cooling down at this point. So um, that's it. Here we go. Speed it up. Okay, so what you're going to need... Uh, while we're waiting for the wax to cool you're going to need a piping bag I use the big piping bags and depending on how much wax you're making um, you could use a smaller one like a 12 inch this one I think is 21 or something like that so this is my piping bag and you can use any piping tip that you want you can use the rounds depending on what your um, how big your project is if it's a candle if it's a bigger cupcake mine are basically these mini muffin um they're gonna be mini muffin tarts so I'm going to use the 1m mold by I mean 1m tip by Welton because this works for me 
and this but I could also use this one right here which would give me a nice big swirl um, I might use this one um, this one is a Tico 828 and you could use the small round tips like you could use pick whatever um, piping tip that you would like to use and you also need scissors I do not use a coupler for my my um, piping bags I just take my what piping bag let me I just take my piping bag and let me see do I want to use this one yeah I think I'm gonna use this one so I'm gonna use the Atiko 828 and this is just you know just for today because usually I would use the 1M but I'm going to try something different and then I'm just gonna cut the tip enough that all of the grooves are free and this is probably could go a little bit more cut that and I'm gonna push it through and this is normally how I do it but if you're changing out you know different tips or whatever then you might want to use a coupler but I don't because I'm just going to pipe this these um, tarts with this and that's it so that's how we prepare our piping bag I also just take like a regular plastic cup and I put my piping bag inside the cup just like this so it can stay still while I scoop the frosting in and also before I go back into the video and um, showing you more of how to whip the frosting, I like to pipe it just before it's ready so that it is still a little bit runny but it still holds its form because if you pipe it when it's exactly ready, you don't have enough time to work with piping all of your tarts or your candles or whatever so I try to do it a little bit before it's ready. I'm also going to add some embeds just to give it a little something extra for today um, and these are just for video purposes so I'm not wearing any gloves or anything um, I should because the wax is getting splattering all over my hands but I'm going to use little wax strawberries to put on top of the frosting and maybe some sprinkles or something not sure yet we'll see when we get there As you can see, it is starting to thicken. And it just needs to be a little bit more thicker than this. And then we can start piping. I'm going to just blend out because I don't want to have the chunks in there because it causes clogs in your piping tip. So I'm going to mix until I don't think we have any more lumps. But when this gets solid, it's going to be just about ready. This is still a little loose because it won't hold the shape. So we're gonna leave it alone for like a minute. Okay, so this is looking good. About to speed you up again. Put this in a piping bag. 